वेलकम बैक गाइस दिस इज क्वेश्चन टेन एंड टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट पार्ट ई एफ जी एंड एच एंड इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सॉल्व ऑल द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम ए टू डी ओके सो लेट मी टॉक अबाउट पार्ट ई नाउ सो इन पार्ट ई वी हैव वर्ड दैट इज एक्स इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी एंड C plus T. Okay. So here, what is the first step? As we have previously seen, that we have to see the number of inputs. So the number of inputs we have here are four, and those are A, B, C, D. So the inputs we have are A, B, C, and D. Okay. And let me draw them. These are the input lines. Okay. And what has been happening here? We can see that C and D are added together. A and B are then added together, and this bracket means this operation will be performed first. And at the end, what will happen here? We will have to multiply them, and that is the AND circuit. So therefore, we have two OR circuits in which A and B are added. Okay, and then uh, C D are added, and at the end, these are. Uh, Uh, these are combined by using this AND gate. Okay, so let me first draw two OR gates. This is a first OR gate with two inputs, and this is a second OR gate with two inputs as well. To it, what is given? A and B are given, and the output of it will be A plus B. Okay, to it, what is given? This one and this one, and to it, the output would be. C plus D. Okay, uh, when we have obtained A plus B and C plus D, okay, these are added together by using this AND gate, and the output of it is X. And to it, two inputs are given, which are these one. Okay, we can see that these are the inputs which are given to it, and these are A plus B. Multiplied by C plus T. Okay, so that is the solution of part E here. Okay, uh, similarly for part F, what we have. So let me write part F, and that is x equal to a plus b c d. Okay, so uh, as I have previously stated, that I am not restricting myself to the two inputs gate, but here I will solve. Uh, it by using the two possible combinations in which if I don't have the two input gates and in which I have only the two input gates. So so here what are the steps? First of all, I have to see the number of inputs. So number of inputs are again four. So the number of inputs are A, B, C, D. Okay, and these are one, two, three, and four. Okay, so what has been happening here? If I don't have the only two gate inputs, but uh, any number of inputs I can use for a gate. So therefore, in that case, here B, C, D are multiplied together, and at the end, these are added with this A. So therefore, here I will have the AND circuit. Okay, here I will have the AND circuit, which is then odd with this A. So therefore. This is the AND with three inputs. Okay, sorry, I have to use the color which is here. So this is having three inputs. Okay, so this is a first, second, and third, and the output of it will be B C D. Okay, and uh, this with it, what I have to do? This will be the OR circuit. And to it, two inputs are given. The first one is here, and the second one is here, and therefore the output of it will be A plus B C D, and that is what that is the output of it. Okay, uh, this is the first combination in which I don't have the two input gates. So similarly, for the case when I have only the two input gates, what I have to do here the uh, inputs will be the same A B C D. And these are here. Okay, uh, so initially B C D will be multiplied together because the only gate I have is of two inputs. So therefore, the output of it will be what? The output of it will be B C, and this B C D has also be multiplied with D this D as well. So therefore, the two inputs. Okay, this is given to it, 
and to add this one is also given so what i will get here i will get this pcd okay so this is the gate which i have and at the output of it what i have to do this will be x and to it the two inputs are given okay so one is here so let me right here as well and the second one is this one as well and this x will give me what this will be the same as a plus b c d so these two are the different combinations this is for the only two input gates and this is for the variable number of inputs okay so this is more practical because most of the gates which we will see in practical will be of two inputs okay so therefore we have solved it like this okay so uh, today we have solved these two questions e and f and i hope uh, this is now understandable that how to implement these by using the and or or the combination of them so in our next video we will talk about product g and h so i think it's enough for today and i will see you in our upcoming video Thank you.